Okay, hi guys. <laughs> Today is day one of my fasting. Um, I did have a little bit of ding dong cake last night pretty late. I would say about 10 o'clock. So I decided, you know what? What better way to start this week than to do a fast? So I'm gonna try for two days, hoping for three, we will see. But it is 3.01 right now and I'm kind of feeling a little hungry. I've been drinking a lot of water, but I'm gonna go ahead and try black coffee. <laughs> and I am not a black coffee kind of girl, but we're gonna try it. So this is gonna be super weird doing this without any of my collagen because that's usually how I really love my coffee. But there we have it. And I am so sorry for how dark and gloomy it is out today. Um, we are getting some pretty bad storms here in Texas. So yeah. I turned the light on, hopefully that helps. It looks super yellow and super bad, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let this coffee make and then we will try it out. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> okay, different area of my house. I am sitting on my couch. I am just finishing up some work on my MacBook, editing some videos for you guys and and I think my coffee has chilled enough, so let's go ahead and try her out. You know what? Let me try again. It's really not that bad. <laughs> I was really expecting that to taste awful, and it really isn't bad at all, so... I wonder how many cups of coffee I can have. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm just gonna be having one cup of coffee a day, maybe two, we'll see. And then I'm definitely gonna be drinking all my water. I do have Kirkland unflavored, unsweetened sparkling water if I'm really feeling something for tonight. Um, but yeah, that is about it. I'm just going to Day really busy because that's like one thing everybody says when you're doing these fasts is to just stay super busy so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to edit some videos I need to edit and post my weekly update for you guys if you didn't know I am changing it to Mondays just to see how that goes and not doing it on Fridays anymore but we'll see how that goes. I will always change it back if it doesn't work for you guys. Definitely comment down below and let me know. But yeah, um, I will be checking back with you guys a little bit later today on my fast. Just so that you guys can see how I'm feeling. But overall, it is now 4 o'clock now. And so, <laughs> totally forgot time changed here in Texas. So... Whenever I said it was 3.01, I'll correct it, but it was actually 4.01 um, because it's 4.07 right now because I was like, I didn't wait just an hour to drink my coffee. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stay super busy. I'm hoping to keep this motivation feeling and I don't feel tired, sluggish, nauseated, nothing like that and you know my hunger really isn't even that bad i think where my hunger is going to go downhill is dinner time because that's usually whenever i eat a lot more than i do for lunch so yeah i will check back with you guys and maybe if i have a sparkling water or something um or if i'm feeling really hungry i'll check back with you guys but that's all I have for you on this fast so far. Okay, just checking in with you guys on my day one fast. I finished the black coffee. It really wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, but I am just staying busy. I already finished editing and uploading my week 33 video, so if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely should. I'll leave it up here. 
and I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. But I'm going to clean the kitchen, do some dishes, just stay busy. And that's what I've got planned. Um, I am not hungry. It is 6 o'clock now, if I didn't already say that. But it's 6 o'clock, not feeling hungry. So, yeah, I'm just going to stay busy, do some dishes, clean up the house a little bit. And I'll check back with you guys tonight. Okay, so I am checking back with you guys. I did put on a sweater or long sleeve shirt. It was getting pretty chilly in here. So it is 7.48 right now. And I am hungry. <laughs> I'm just gonna let y'all know that I am hungry. I've been trying to drink a lot of water, trying to put it out of my mind. And I did look up and see if I can have this bubbly strawberry water. And it is fast approved, I guess you would say, because it is naturally flavored and it has no sugar. So I am going to be having this for my dinner. Um, if that doesn't hold me over, I also have my Kirkland sparkling water as well. And I did finish my cup of black coffee. I only had one cup today. Um, and that seemed to really hold me over with hunger. But now that it is getting late, and this is usually when I eat dinner, of course that hunger is back. So I'm going to enjoy this sparkling water. And that's it. I'm just finishing editing another video for you guys so yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you back tomorrow which will be like seconds for you guys but see you tomorrow okay so kind of a recap on day one of my fast right now i am almost 40 hours into my fast i've got I've got about 32 more hours to go and I am feeling really good. I will tell you guys last night around dinner time I was hungry. I drank that strawberry sparkling water and I felt great after that. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a little torture. I made my boyfriend dinner and I was definitely feeling the urge to eat then. So today I've got a few errands to run. I'm going to run to my local grocery store, which is H-E-B, and I'm going to get these things called Mill Simples. That way it's a little bit easier on me. <laughs> you can just pop them in the oven, they cook, and then he can eat that because of course I'm on my fast, I'm not eating. So he actually gave me that idea last night, so I think that is a great idea. So that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> Sorry, my watch just kept going off even though my phone's on silent so I had to silence my watch. But yeah, I'm gonna go run my errands and I am drinking 10 ounces of black coffee. I don't really feel like I need it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and have it just so that I'm not get sluggish or anything like that. So cheers and I will see you. I'll check back with you guys maybe either before or after I go to H-E-B, but Cheers. Okay, I am so sorry if you hear the construction going on outside. It is, uh, it's been going on since six in the morning this morning. So yeah, um, I absolutely cannot stand the construction around here, especially because it's like right behind our house and right on the side here. Anyways, enough of that, but I'm hoping that you can't hear it or I can fix the volume or something when I edit this. So, those of you who might be thinking, oh my gosh, this girl is so dramatic. Look at all that freaking construction. Y'all see that? Y'all see how many people are out there? Definitely not being over dramatic, okay? This happens about six in the morning till about six or seven at night, every single day besides Sundays. And when it's raining hard enough where they can't be working. So, there you go. When I say construction sucks, construction sucks. But I wanted to recap my day one on my fast. 
so I posted this on Facebook that I was gonna do a two to three hour fast but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot for that 72 hours because I'm feeling really great and why not just stop at two days um, about 41 hours into my fast so I have roughly about 31 hours to go and I'm feeling really great so I just wanted to recap on it why do a fast just answer some questions for you guys can y'all see the guys going by in the back door <sighs> ah, okay so first off i'll answer your question the app that i'm using to track my fast and that i tracked my intermittent fast in the beginning is the app called zero it is really awesome it tracks your fast, it gives you like this window telling you how long your fast is or how long you want up here, tells you how long you've done it and how much longer you have to go. It also tells me that I have 44% remaining. So that is so awesome. So here's the deal. My fast ends tomorrow at 10. So I'm definitely gonna go over 72 hours. I'm not gonna eat until I guess the fourth day you could say because I'm not going to break my fast and eat at 10 o'clock at night um yeah I kind of messed up going into this fast Sunday I had a slice of ding dong cake at 10 o'clock because I knew I was going to start a fast and I really wanted it so I did so that's why my fast ends at 10 p.m. so let's talk about benefits of fasting so the benefits of fasting is gut health, skin, hair, overall health. It's not just weight loss. It can also help with your stall. And like you guys know, I've been on a stall. So this is really great. I copied this thing off of Pinterest that I thought was really good. And it says, what happens to your body during a fast? And I'll put it up here while I read it. Four to eight hours, your blood sugar falls. All food has left your stomach. Insulin is no longer produced. 12 hours. Food consumed has been burned. Digestive system goes to sleep. Body begins healing process. HGH begins to increase. Glycogen is released to balance blood sugar. 16 hours. Body is ramping up burning fat. 18 hours, HGH starts to skyrocket. 24 hours, autophagy begins, drains all glycogen, stores ketones are released into the bloodstream. And if you're doing keto, you want those ketones. 36 hours, autophagy 300% increases. 48 hours, autophagy increases 30% more, immune system resets, and regeneration increased reduction in uh, inflammatory responses 72 hours autophagy maxes out and plateaus so i'm doing a 72 hour fat and i also want to note that i am not a doctor not a health coach not a health professional this is just my journey and i'm just sharing with you guys my journey okay so you definitely need to consult in a doctor. I've done fast in the past. Um, I intermittent fast every single day. So I knew that my body is capable of doing a 72 hour fast. Let's talk about the benefits of fasting. Fasting, this is the benefits, okay? These are other benefits. Weight loss, it gets rid of your cravings heart health improves memory and i have my notes right here that's why i'm reading off this improves memory increases hgh decreases cortisol heals immune disorders fixes digestive disorders aids in healing type 2 diabetes and decreases inflammation all of these are wonderful benefits why am i doing it i'm doing it to reset my body I am doing it because I've been on keto for so long that that's why I'm stalling right now. And I didn't wanna do a beef and butter fast or an egg fast just yet. Um, I'll do that later on, but I really wanted to go ahead and do this 72 hour fast. So what can you have during a fast? You can have water, 
You can have black coffee, you can have teas, you can have sparkling water. Make sure there's no sugars, no calories, nothing like that. You don't wanna be thrown out of your fast for something silly like that. So let's also talk about weight. So when I weighed myself Monday, after I had that slice of cake at 10 p.m. on Sunday, Monday my weight was 230. I know I gained weight over the weekend, um, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. So that really, really like pushed me to do this fast and help myself out. So today, I weighed myself and I am 229. So that's already down one pound. So, so yeah, I'm drinking tons of water. I got another question asked if I am taking any kind of electrolytes or salt. I have mixed a little bit of Himalayan sea salt in my water, um, but not too much. And I've been drinking one cup of coffee or 10 ounces of coffee. We'll put my scale picture up here for you guys where it says that I'm 229.2. So definitely seeing the scale on Monday after I was my lowest on Friday really got to me and that's when I really knew I was gonna do this fast. Now, I am not here telling you that you need to do a fast. I'm not here telling you anything like that you need to do your own research you need to figure out if this is right for you this was right for me and that's why i went ahead and did it also um my friend here on youtube jessica with keto rewind just got done doing a 72 hour fast so i knew i was gonna do one this week so after seeing her fast i was like okay i'm gonna push myself even more to do it so i hope that answered some of your questions for why i'm doing the fast what are the benefits and all of that um and i will i'm gonna go ahead and post this today and then today is tuesday and then tomorrow i will have day two which is today of my recapping and then i'll have a day three of my recapping as well. So I'm taking you guys along with my fasting journey. And if you guys ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can always leave them down below. And don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. It really does help my channel out. We are almost to 500 subscribers. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. And I will see you tomorrow for my day two recap of my fast.